Welcome back everyone to another episode of Steam Controller Essentials. This episode will be about mouse regions and was actually requested by a YouTube user who commented in the last episode. To begin with, mouse region is a pretty large topic and would make this video really long. I have decided to split it into two topics, one part information and one part modification. Since this is Steam Controller Essentials, I will only be covering the basics about mouse region with the config I have already made. However, if you would like to see how I made the configuration and how to adjust configurations, then check out the other video, whose link is in the description, as well as in a card at the end of the video. So, the big question, what does mouse region do? Put simply, it binds a touchpad to an area of the screen in a one-to-one -one fashion. Put into layman's terms, it simply means that pressing or touching the top left corner of the touchpad will result in the cursor jumping to the top left corner of a pre-configured box on the screen. You could apply it to the entire screen or just a small section. This is probably easier to show than tell, so here is an example. As you can see, I am moving my character in League of Legends, which is entirely mouse based. And how I did this is I assigned a region of the screen, pretty much a box right around here, to my left pad. And as I move my thumb pad in a circle, it moves a circle around the screen, only to the extent of where I've put it. And I can immediately jump to any position on the pad, and it reflects directly on the screen. Now this is only one use, and it's a pretty obvious use that I always thought of when it came to mouse region was for point and click RPGs or MOBAs. But we can also assign it to this square of the mini-map and apply that when the pad is touched to hold down left click which will actually move it around and we get something that looks a bit like this and as you can see I can jump to any point on the mini-map rather quickly say I want to move here Actually, this requires camera lock to be on. Say I want to start moving in this direction, see, what hap see what's happening in the middle, and continue mo my movement. I can also set a waypoint and continue to look around the map, and the camera lock from League will snap me right back to the character. Now these are only two of the uses, but we can also use it to interact with the user interface. So right now, as you saw earlier, it's prompting me to choose a skill to level up. Well, I could just use the general mouse cursor and come down to click on one of these, or I could assign a box to it. And what I've done is created a box about as wide as this, just this rectangle right here, and I assigned it to a mode shift on the left pad. Now I've given it no vertical aspect, so regardless of how high or low I go on the touchpad, it doesn't change anything. All it goes is left and right. All the way left on the pad will take me to there, all the way right will take me to there, and eventually you can get some muscle memory where it'll be very automatic. You'll just be able to jump to exactly what you need. and combined all of these of course you can add more mode shifts or action sets as you need you can actually make top-down games or any game that is highly mouse reliant or user interface reliant maybe like a Civ game extremely intuitive to use as if it was designed for the controller mouse region provides a very clear and easily visualized method of quickly moving the mouse to precise area of the screen and it focuses on reducing the time it takes to move a cursor across the screen while increasing the user's ability to accurately land on intended user interface elements. Two areas that people tend to have issues with when using a touchpad as a trackpad. Mouse region's strength is entirely composed of countering the touchpad's weaknesses. Now if you're interested in creating a config or modifying a mouse region, go ahead and check out my companion video to this one where I actually explain how to go through the menu and actually create 
a mouse region config. The link can be found in the description or in a card in the top right corner of the screen. Until next time, continue innovating and continue gaming.